What up people, this is Bunjo. Today, this video is gonna be about five things I don't like about Argentina. And it ranges from a few things and things that you may not think about on a daily basis. Or things that you may not think about when ever. Who knows, right? But these are things that every day occur to me and they annoy me just a little bit, you know? Uh, they're not major things. There are a few small things. We'll get into the video now. But uh, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share, and always press a thumbs up and leave a comment. Um, comments are vital nowadays, and so are thumbs up. So please just press the thumbs up. It's free, man, like Morgan. The first thing I hate about Cordoba is you see the roads here? You see the sidewalks? None of the sidewalks are ever straight, and there's always construction, like always. Hey, look at this. Hey, look at this. Look at see that sidewalk. It's pretty good this one, but it still is not straight at all. And it's like everywhere. Imagine pushing a buggy or anything. You know, like look at this sidewalk. Look at this sidewalk. Yeah, and that's like a that's like a good sidewalk. Yes. <laughs> right? It's kind of normal this one. Yeah, and then you always get this. And that's one of the things I hate of Cordoba. That's one of the five things we're gonna mention in that video. Damn. Damn sidewalks of Cordoba. Another thing I hate about Argentina are these plastic napkins. You hear that? That's plastic. So imagine this you're eating a taco or something messy, a shawarma. And you gotta use this to clean yourself up. Plastic neck. What? You're just pushing it side to side from each side of your face. Plastic napkins, man. Argentina, what the hell are you doing with these? I don't know. I think it'd be more expensive to make plastic napkins than paper napkins. And I don't know if it's a fireman thing, but geez, man. Plastic napkins, no good. That's another thing I hate about Argentina. They're everywhere unless you go to a top of the line establishment. But usually, at a common restaurant, you get a plastic napkin, baby. So get ready for that. Oh no, they all hear that guy. So this is another thing I hate about Argentina, it's the pizza. You, you hear about Buenos Aires and their famous pizza and how good they are. Half the country's Italian, yet they don't do pizza right. Look at this. Look at this. It's just bread, so you buy the bread pre-made and then you put the toppings on, so you just heat it up. But it's so weird, they don't make it from scratch really. It's, it's so different. For lazy people, this is the best. But tell, but tell them, how different is my pizza compared to the pizza here? Yeah, but who cares? If you want to have a pizza and you don't want to spend a lot, this is the best way. You put... But it's cheaper to do it the other way. <laughs> no, but you... I hate this about work. I hate this about Argentina. This is crazy. This is crazy to me. That's another thing I hate about Argentina. The pizza, especially because everybody's Italian here. So, I don't know why they can't get pizza right. Just make the pizza. Maybe it is a lazy thing. Maybe they're just lazy to make pizza. I don't know. There's another thing. Another thing I hate about Argentina. Now, everybody knows I own a cat named Kraken. I'm an animal lover. But these guys have dogs everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, you can't walk down the street in Cordoba, Buenos Aires, anywhere in Argentina without seeing wild dogs. Like a gang of dogs ready to jump you at any, min at any minute, you know? And it's like, with wild dogs, guess what comes with that? Poop. Dog poop everywhere. So this is a two for one. -er. The dog poop everywhere. Landmines. You're walking landmines. Landmines. Everywhere. And then there's dogs. You got to worry about getting attacked by dogs. I've seen on the news so many times people getting attacked by dogs in Argentina. So yeah, the wild dogs and the poop everywhere on the streets of Argentina. It's absolutely crazy. Not only do they have bad sidewalks, but you got to watch out for poop and wild dogs. Wild. Another thing I hate about Argentina, the next thing I hate is every two days you got the streets blocked off so it's impossible to drive because these damn protesters, protesters man, are the worst, they're the absolute worst and everybody's out here like what are they even protesting, do you know? Uh, eco-socialista something about... Uh... The ecosystem, yeah. 
Like, what are you what are you trying to change? They're all wearing clothes that that they're gonna throw out. Wearing clothes, clothes is like half of the problem in the world, and they're all wearing clothes. You know, they should be clothesless if they want to do something for the ecosystem. These guys, damn it, damn protesters in Argentina. Every second day, you got protesters. Look at these toolboxes. You got the leader right there. The leader. So the last thing I hate about Argentina. Well, this one's going to take a while. So there's a story I got to tell you. So this guy, Harold Balder, famous YouTube vlogger. He's a smart man, a Viking f from the north. Um, he sent me one of his famed sweaters it's called a pork o'clock sweater with the nice wild pig on it the one that he shot down in the helicopter do, 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 with tattoo johnny and stuff um yeah he sent that uh, in like november I, the post office said i got it in december but they never told me and that's argentina post argentina post office and the whole post the mail system is screwed up here man um he sent it to me, never got to notice at the door. Nobody ever knocked on it because we live in an apartment. Nobody. So it, it's like, d d does the mailman even bother to knock or leave a notice saying, hey, go pick up your stuff? No, he didn't. He didn't. Uh, my buddy Salas sent me something uh, and I never got a notice. It got sent back to him and it said it's been sitting there for a month. Same with Harold's sweater. So I haven't got those things. So I haven't got two packages. Now this one, this one is a bad one. The same, uh, same thing happened to this guy, Ace Live. He's another famous YouTuber. Me and him were chatting about it, uh, about the mail system, because he ordered a microphone or a, a, a something like that, right? And he, he got it from th through DHL. DHL is the biggest ripoff. If My advice to everybody, don't use DHL. That's the only shipping service that is a crock of baloney here. You don't want to use it. They'll rip you off. They'll make you pay money. So this is my, this is my experience with that. My mom sent us Christmas presents, clothes for Enzo, Mickey a phone, a microphone for my camera, uh, little hockey cards, a few little toys for Enzo. Um, what else? I think beef jerky. All those things are fine and dandy, right? So she goes to DHL, she sends it. It gets to DHL in Argentina. They're like, yeah, yeah, uh, is everything good, dude? And then boom, all of a sudden it hits a brick wall. They're like, yeah, I can't leave. We're like, what do you mean it can't leave? Oh, some of this stuff can't uh, get across the border through customs because uh, it doesn't meet our restrictions. So you got to get an outside source to, to handle it. So we got to hire somebody to release it, like a shipping and receiving place. So we call this place. They're like, we're like, hey, uh, our package, can you uh, let it go and get it through customs for us? Like uh, DHL told us to call you. They're like, yeah, no problem. But uh, for us to take this case on, it's 500 USD. And we're like, what? What? 500 USD? What? And then they're like, yeah, plus we to do the actual work, it's going to be a minimum of another 300. So you're looking at about a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars to get your package. I'm like, dude, there's a cell phone, a broken cell phone, baby's clothes. They're like, how much, how many uh, pairs of baby clothes? I'm like, there's a sweater, there's a shirt, there's pants and uh, maybe two shirts, three shirts, a uh, pair of pants, a jumper. They're like, yeah, right there, there's more than three items. I'm like, yeah, but they're all different items. They're not the same, they're not a shirt, they're not. And they're like, no, it doesn't matter, they're clothes. They look at you like you're a, a reseller and you're gonna sell everything, a retail guy. I'm like, so let me get this straight. Cause there's four pieces of baby clothes and you telling me there's only three allowed to go through customs? You're telling me I can't get my phone that costs $500 plus my microphone for my camera, plus all the other stuff, the package alone it's worth only a thousand dollars. We already paid four hundred for shipping, and we went through you guys. You guys said it was all dandy in Canada, but yet when it comes to Argentina, you guys are gonna hold it hostage. So then we say, so what are the chances? Okay, we're, we'll, if it's eight hundred, we'll pay the eight hundred. They're like, okay, but you still won't get it. Maybe we're like, what do you mean maybe? If we pay you eight hundred dollars, you have to get it. They're like, no, there's still a chance that you might not get it. So saying all that. We never actually got the package. So they ripped us off and they took it. And we read all the comments and reviews um, ab about DHL here. And apparently they do this all the time. They steal all your mail. So never use DHL, always just use regular mail. DHL just steals it and makes up all these crazy prices because they know you're not gonna pay it. So DHL should be looked at 
because DHL is a scam here. Don't use DHL. Matter of fact, don't send anything here. You already heard. I had, what, six packages in total come here from people. Uh, the jalapenos, which was food in a, in a mason jar, got through. But uh, my buddy Salas, he sent me Arsenal baby clothes. I think he sent it again. I still haven't got it. So he sent Arsenal baby clothes for my kid, my baby, like three things. And we haven't got that. Harold Boulder sent me a sweater and they didn't even notify me to tell me it was at the post office. Because when you go to the post office, like we did, we're like, hey, is, is there a package here from the USA maybe for us? And they're like, oh, without a tracking number, you can't get it. So when we go back to the post office to pick up regular mail, they're like, oh, by the way, there was something here for you uh, in December. Yeah, December was three months ago, pal. And we already came 15 times looking for it. And you told us, oh, we need a tracking number. Now you knew it was here? Now you know it is here? Yeah, so that was a long rant. And that's the last thing I hate about Argentina, the freaking mail system. The freaking mail. If you're here as an expat, don't order anything from outside the country. I'm telling you, it's not worth your time. It'll drive you crazy and you'll get scammed and you'll get sad. So thank you for watching, people. Those are the things I hate about Argentina. The last one, I absolutely despise it. Communist stuff right there. Huh. <laughs> Este es el show de show, este no es tu show, cambia que hubo por el asado, este es el show de show. Wow.